Hello, my name is Kristen and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, um, hi, welcome. I haven't posted in a while, but I hope to start now, today, after this video. Uh, for those of you who have been here or, you know, are subscribers and have been around for a while, hi, I am back from the dead. Just kidding, I never died. Um, <laughs> I just, uh, a lot has changed, but today I am going to do a get to know me tag for the simple fact of basically le letting new people know what I'm about and who I am, and also for those of you who have been subscribers, also kind of letting you get to know who I am, because I know in my past I haven't really been uh, as full of my personality as I am now. Um, a lot of things have changed, like I may or may not have said. Uh, but I am more me than I've ever been. So, uh, let's get into these questions. There are 30 of them. The 30th one isn't really a question, but let's, let's, let's do this. Question number one. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Ohio, uh, northwestern Ohio. For privacy's sake, I am not going to say exactly where because that's just weird. I was born and raised there. It's where I've always lived until now, which brings us to question number two, is where do you currently live? And I'm currently living in Northern Illinois. Long story behind that. That will be a completely different video because I have to do an update. Uh, number three, who is your best friend? My best friend would be Emily. Uh, she's awesome. We met, I believe it was sometime early last year, I think. I'm also really tired, so if I seem a little out of it, that is why. But also, my other best friend would be my husband, because we are and have been good friends for many years, so. Number four, how tall are you? I am four foot eleven. I am very short. I am very petite. Number five, dogs or cats? So this question... I don't want to get any hate because I know this is a big controversy thing all over the world. I'm a cat person. Some people will love that and hate that. Uh, it's not that I don't like dogs, I just prefer cats for the simple fact that they are independent and they do their own thing and they don't really bother you as much as dogs do. I, I just like to be left alone for the most part, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. I just like cats. I like their personalities. I relate to them. Okay, I, I am a cat. Number six, funniest moment throughout high school. This one I'm not too sure of because I was really, I wasn't popular. I didn't go out of my way to do anything crazy. There isn't really a funny moment I can think of. I feel like if anything, I would uh, go back to... Uh, my days in BPA, which is Business Professionals of America. I had to, my junior year, we had to make a video for a competition for BPA. It had to do with bullying, and I had my friends involved in the video, and uh, we had a lot of really funny cutscenes, I think is what they're called. Sometimes I can't remember words that I'm thinking of, and I used the wrong word, but I think that's the right one. Number seven, what year were you born? I was born in 1995, which would make me 24 in April. Number eight, are you in or have you gone to college? I am not currently in college, and I have not yet gone to college. I still want to. Um, lately, more than ever, I wanted to go to beauty school two separate times at a wide span of time, too. I looked at one place, I didn't really like it, I went to another place and I did like it, but I just, I don't know, the fear of not being good of it, not being good of it, not being good at it, kind of settled over me and I didn't really go for it, plus the whole fact of like, ooh, tuition and FAFSAs and scholarships, I don't really know anything about it, and obviously I have to learn if I want to go to school, but it was a little overwhelming at the time, and I just didn't go and then I moved and I'm still very interested and there are two schools nearby that look decent. Um, I wanted to go to Paul Mitchell School but that's not going to happen because the nearest location is an hour and 12 minutes away. Number nine, what is your favorite drink? Uh, if you mean alcoholic, then anything Moscato. 
wine because I don't like dry wine. I have to have sweet wine. Um, sometimes it would be in not large amounts because wine will give me heartburn. Um, I don't drink very often. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, water because I don't really drink anything else. I don't drink pop. I don't drink juice. I don't drink energy drinks. I just drink water. I love water. Number 10. What is your spirit animal and why? Cat. Do I have to say why? <laughs> I've always loved cats and I've been told a lot that I kind of am similar to a cat, which is weird. I'm not saying that I'm a cat, but I'm, I'm definitely a cat. Number 11. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Um, Electric Beach by Victoria's Secret. Number 12. Tea or coffee? I am not a tea person. Also not... I'm not a coffee, like, creamer and sugar person. I can't have coffee like that. I would have to have iced coffee or frozen coffee that is flavored with added sugar. Because regular espresso is too much for me to handle. And even then, I don't like drinking a lot of it because it makes me really jittery. <laughs> I know that's kind of the point, but... Number 13, what are your life goals? I used to not really know, and I'm starting to get a better idea now of what I want to do or where I want to be, I guess. Uh, life goals would be to be happily married, which I am. Um, have another kid. I already have one. She's almost one and a half. And, you know, have gone to school and have a good career because for the last almost six years, I was working at a tennis club without really knowing what I was doing or where I was going to go or what my next move was. I just, I really didn't know. Um, and then I just, I took a leap <laughs> and moved and I did some crazy things and, uh, burned some bridges along the way, but I feel like it's going to be better for me in the end. Don't know how long that'll take, but we'll get there. Number 14, what sports do you play or have played? I played tennis, and I say played in past tense because it's been, like, months since I've played. Um, I was able to play for free working at a tennis club, but with the schedule change, I didn't really make time to go do something. I wanted to focus more on singles than doubles, and a lot of the clinics were doubles related, and I'm more a singles player than doubles. I prefer to just be the only one on the court with myself um, without having to worry about, you know, like somebody else making an error on my team. So I uh, hope to find a new tennis club soon. Um, my tennis gear is still in Ohio though, so I can't really look into that until I get it back, but <clears throat> hopefully I get the ball rolling on that <laughs> ball rolling because it's tennis with a tennis ball. 15. Have any books you read changed your life? I read Tuesdays with Maury and The Five People You Meet in Heaven. I read both of those when I was in summer school uh, between sophomore and junior year. I voluntarily went to summer school to get an extra half or to get an extra semester of language arts because I was going to graduate early in my senior year, but I ended up not. So I do have an extra language arts credit. I wouldn't say that they changed my life, but they did make me think deeply about, like, who I was and how I was being towards people. Not that I've ever been a bad person, but it just made me think about a lot of things. Number 16, what is your favorite movie? I don't really typically have favorites when it comes to things like this. Like, I don't have a favorite song or anything like that. But favorite movie, um, I really like action movies. Or comedies. I don't really have a select favorite though. I just, it really depends on the mood that I'm in, like what I want to watch. Um, I do like the Bourne trilogy and uh, Looper. Bruce Willis is probably one of my favorite actors of all time. I will probably cry when he dies. Number 17, who are your favorite YouTubers? 
my friend Emily because she just started a new channel and uh, she's my best friend so I'm going to love and support everything that she posts. Uh, you should definitely check her out. I will link her down below. Um, also, I love Carissa Nunez. I don't remember how I came across her but I did while I was pregnant because she had a kid. And you know, when you when you become pregnant, you just start looking up people that have families and do vlogs and stuff like that because you want to relate. Uh, so I found her. I love her style. I love her editing style, her her sense or her taste and everything. Probably just she seems like somebody I would want to be friends with, but that would be creepy because you can't trust people on YouTube that comment unless you know them personally. Number 18, do you speak any languages and how well? Well, I learned Spanish one and two in high school, but I didn't do very well the second year. Uh, and like, and I, bleh. I ended up not liking Spanish. I wished that I took French instead, but I did download Duolingo a few years back and I started learning French, but that's a hit or miss with me to remember to do it consistently. Like, like YouTube, consistency is key, and I fail, I fail, um, but I got to the point where I was like 42% fluent, so that's not too shabby. Number 19, are you single or taken? Well, I hope you guys know the answer to that because I have already mentioned that I have a husband. Uh, number 20, what is your idea of a dream date? Well, I hope that there would be food involved, for sure. <laughs> But it's not so much of like, I feel like it's the thought that counts. I wouldn't expect like a fancy restaurant or anything, more like a a picnic under the stars or on a beach or just laying under the stars, but having snacks, but I pretty much already said that. Something with candles, maybe. Um, I just really like sentimental things over going all out and buying stuff or whatever. Sentimental means a lot more because it's thoughtful. Number 21, how long was your longest relationship? My longest relationship was a couple weeks shy of five years. 22, how would you describe your fashion sense? You guys haven't really seen a whole lot of like what I actually wear unless you're referring to my Rose Wholesale dot com review. I think I have like full body shots in there, but that was a couple years ago. I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> I would like to get back to that. It is a work in progress, but I think my fashion sense would be a little alternative. I like to wear neutral colors like black, gray, blue, red. I don't like to wear anything too bright. Usually the colors are dulled a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. I'm wearing black sweatpants right now if that counts. And this is uh, my husband's shirt that I snatched. Number 23, what is your go-to hairstyle? This is a new one for me. Um, my go-to hairstyle has been to just naturally let my hair do what it does, which is be straight and down. Um, I don't, I didn't used to wear it up often, but I discovered something amazing that I'm going to show you guys in a different video. A way to perfect, natural looking, heatless waves. So, this is my go-to. I put it up in this bun, but it's a twisted bun. So when I take it out, hold on, hold on, I will, uh... ta-da, it looks awesome. Sometimes you have to brush it out a little bit to dull it down, but uh, if you do it right, <laughs> It looks pretty awesome and it looks pretty natural and um, it's completely non-damaging, which is a huge plus for people with damaged hair. So uh, yeah, number 24. How many siblings do you have? I have one older sister. We are eight and a half years apart. Number 25. What is your go-to fast food order? Okay, now I don't eat fast food very often at all anymore. Uh, we eat at home a lot, saves money. But if I do go out, I typically go to Taco Bell. If I go to Taco Bell, I get chicken quesadillas with no jalapeno sauce because that stuff seriously does something to my insides and it does not feel good. I will dip it in sour cream and I will get a beefy Frito burrito also because it's usually a dollar. Number 26. 
Do you use a PC or a Mac? I use a, an HP laptop. Number 27, your most memorable, mem, memorable vacation memory. <laughs> um, I've been on a couple, probably, I don't know, probably when I went to Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. Kentucky was awesome. I was really into horses at the time, and my parents took me to a horse race, and it wasn't the Churchill Downs Derby or anything like that. It was a different place, but it was still cool to watch horses run around and race each other and all that fun stuff. But we also went to Mammoth Cave, and it's like a huge cave. There were some tight spots, and it was interesting. Um, I remember getting a little claustrophobic, <laughs> but it was really cool. Um, I've been a few places, but that and probably um, going to Orlando for Disney World. I can never remember if it's Disney World or Disneyland or where. I don't know. I don't keep up with it that much. <laughs> Number 28. What are your morning and evening routines? Um, my morning, I wake up when Riley does, which can be anywhere from 9.30 to 10.30. Um, she typically likes to just chill in her crib for a little bit until she starts making noises, because then I'll get up and get her. She sleeps in her own room. I have a monitor in mine, um, and I have a fan running, so... Uh, I get up when I start to hear her, which I'm a very light sleeper in the morning, so uh, I hear her pretty easily. And I'll get up and I will give her her medicine and then I will give her breakfast and then we'll just hang out for a while. And then in the evening, um, my husband goes to work um, the three days that he's off, you know, he'll be home. It doesn't matter either way. I just... You know, we have dinner around like five, six, seven, somewhere between that time frame. And then she has a snack sometime before bed, and then she usually goes to bed between 9.30 and 10. And then I just stay up and do whatever. I tend to stay up way too late. Which brings us to number 29, which is, do you have any bad habits? My bad habit, as of late, is staying up way too late. I I know that I do it to myself. This is why I'm tired. Why I said earlier that I'm really tired, so... It's because I stayed up way too late, again, for like... I don't know, it's been like two weeks in a row. I, the earliest I've gone to bed was maybe 1 o'clock, 1.30. Uh, the latest has been four. <laughs> and then, you know, Riley gets up between 9.30, 10. So I do it to myself. I'm aware when I stay up that I will have to deal with the consequences in the morning. And that's fine because I know that I'll make it through the day. Um, and eventually I'll take myself to sleep early. I'm hoping tonight is the night. I'm hoping tonight is the night. <laughs> it's just like I always want to do something or I have something to do. And then number 30, this is the non-question question. It says, uh, tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. And this is a good one because I don't know. Um, I guess it would be that a few things. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I hardly wear makeup. If I'm wearing makeup, it's because I had something to do or I felt like it, which is very rare. <laughs> I think the last time I did my makeup was on Christmas. Um, I haven't worn foundation since eighth grade. Uh, I didn't wear it for very long. I didn't like the feeling on my face. It just, I like letting my skin breathe. Um, I have eczema. It's actually really bad on my neck pretty consistently and I have a really bad habit of picking at it so there you go add that to number 29 uh, I also I have weak nails so I like to have them painted but they're usually not like nine times out of ten they will not be painted when you see me and like what this is the fourth thing 
I do not use heat on my hair. The only heat you can consider heat on my hair would be if I'm in the hot shower, which I'm going to try to avoid now due to the fact that I have vibrant blue hair uh, because heat, hot water will rinse this out so quick. So I am trying to avoid that at all costs. But anyway, those are all the questions. I'm sorry that this video was so long. If you made it to the end of this video, comment Kirby down below so I know that you watched the whole thing. I will know. I will know. Uh, also, more videos are to be coming. I am currently charging both of my cameras, so I should have no excuse as to why they are not working tomorrow. But I hope that I will see you guys again, and I hope that um, you like this video. Feel free to comment whatever you like. Uh, feel free to do this video, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of me, because I'm going to be around.